Hello people, it's me Mr. Boss. I'm here today to show you how to set up your Survivor Squads properly. So first you have to go into the EMT Squad and pick a lead survivor that has an EMT bonus. So this one right here is my best um, lead survivor, but I want one with this symbol. The symbol right here for the EMT squad. So I can do this. I select that one, and then click Z sword, and then find some with the same personality match as him. So this one has the same personality match, ever. which is analytical. And as you can see, that already makes my power level jump up a lot. I'm originally power level 20. Not that one. Oops. It's my Put in the EMG job. squad. That already makes it 22. Then sort to get the best one. That didn't do much to my power level. But hopefully it will jump up. Get it done! More. So, but that made it jump up. One and some. We're in it together! And then almost to 24 now. So that's the EMT squad. Here's Fireteam Alpha. I need to find one, and here it is. To work. It has the Fireteam symbol. And then I need ones with this type. Teamwork. Good team. So, as you can see, this has already made my power level go up five, and I'm just in the first two. Survivor squads. So here's Gadgeteers. I have two different ones. One has this analytical one, and this other one has competitive. So I need to go through and see which I have more of. Do I have more competitive ones or more analytical? And I do have more analytical. So I'm probably going to use the, the survivor squad leader. Yeah, I was made for this. Slot. So all for one. Squad um, slot all of the other ones that have analytical all right. perks. Team bonus. And it jumps up your power level a ton. Teamwork. So I've already gone up ten points, which is great. And that's just three survivor squads. And I still have five more. So, Core of Engineering. This one has the symbol. Gonna use that one. I love it. And then pick more with analytical. We'll get it done. Also another thing here. These ones have set bonuses, so if you have two or more of the survivors with the same set bonus, which here is a shield bonus, it will give you extra shield. And this one has trap damage, but I don't have any others that match with it. So now I've gone up 13. This one here, a new training team, which is this logo. Perfect job! Team ever. We're in it together. What a team. So that's the training team right there. And I still have three more. Close assault. I mean, oh, I do have someone for that. That's right Rising in my trailer. wheelhouse. Team bonus. So I don't have any more, or I may have some more, but not a lot, of the cooperative personality. So let's see what happens if I use this other person. I'm gonna clear all of it. So here's the one I was using. This is a different one. It's not a job, it's a calling. So here, all for one. I can slot a lot more of them in. Best and get a better boost. 
Teamwork. The leader isn't as good as the other leader, but it's good to have the personality matches. That's what gives you most of it. So here, scouting party. I can do this one. All and right, team. I bonus. need the pragmatic personality. What a team! So there's the scouting party, and it gives a pretty good boost. I think tank. I do have someone for that. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I was made for this. Good team. We'll get it done. All for one. There it is. Now I'm power level 40. I've jumped up 20 points, and that is going to help me a lot in game and make it so much easier. So eventually, I will try to get more of the cooperative people so that I can use this lead survivor or I could just get a new lead survivor and do that because right now this one isn't helping me so much but that's about all if you're new to the game definitely try this it helps with the power level so much and that's about it thank you for watching please subscribe